Forest genetic resources, it's a big set of words, but basically it's adaptive potential really of a forest. So you're talking about the genes in the forest trees and what capacity they have to develop. The more diverse something is, the more capacity it has to adapt to climate change. Really what we're trying to do is assemble um, as much information we have on uh, climate change, the impacts of climate change on forest genetic resources. So it's a combination of literature review and then sort of expert uh, synthesis. So we're building on information that's already there really. And in addition to that, we saw a need for uh, developing some sort of decision tool uh, for managers, say, uh, to, to decide uh, the steps necessary when, you know, when a, when a forest is becoming threatened is there a potential risk. If there is, then you decide what to do and you go to the next level to do some active regeneration, for example. If this isn't working, you go to another step. You continue on down this cascade of increasing threat in a way. And uh, another thing we develop is this idea of a red list of threatened species, populations, but also a regional approach to say this is a threatened region. So it's to enable us to prioritize where to put the most resources. There's so many things at risk we can give a list and say these are the priorities this is where we need to focus it's one of the great things really about euphrogen that we have to collaborate on projects on conservation because species don't restrict themselves to borders <laughs>